Top of the morning, evening, night, or day, ladies and gentlemen. This is me here today on behalf of All Prepared Men. And I hope everyone's well and good. Roll the intro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain, and the following video is for subscribe devices only. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing one of the sickest cardigans on YouTube, which, if we think about it, it's really insane. I got nine of the sickest cardigans on YouTube, which when I bought my first cardigan, I was just happy to have a cardigan. Never mind nine of the sickest cardigans on YouTube. Actually, I got 10, but only nine are here with me. This is cardigan number nine. Number 10 is still in Italy somewhere. So eventually that will get here. But before we even get started on that let's focus on this because this is what's happening right now so having just been picked up this morning we have cardigan number nine which i think is beautiful i only saw this online but oh my god she gave me a sweet i presume it's a she because no dude will ever go through this trouble at least a straight one Anyway, thank you. That was so nice, man. <laughs> the little things in life. I'm here to unbox a cardigan and I'm happy about the sweet. Anyway, I dropped something. Okay, that is a 10% discount code on this seller's store. I don't really want this, so I'm gonna give this to you guys. If you guys want to use this, I hope you're happy shopping. This is the back of the cardigan, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm talking about the front. I don't really know how the back is yet. The front, ridiculously well made. I really love the detail of this cardigan. Okay. Very, very beautiful. The reason why I got these patterns is because when I got when I saw this online, I saw how much detail they had in these little designs. And I really think this is beautiful. If you see this cardigan here, it's got some triangles and some cool designs. But I don't think any of my cardigans have as much detail as this cardigan here. Just have a look at this, man. Whoever made this cardigan was on another level of cardigan making. And when I saw this, I was like, this is cardigan number nine. I haggled the price. I bought this for 20 euros, I believe, with shipping included. I do need to double check these things when I go into my editing mode. But until I do that, let's just roll with 20 euros. 23 euros and 29 cents, mate. This is how much it cost with shipping included. Man, I really like the detail and the effort that the person who made this put into the cardigan. Okay, so the brand is Kende, and that is pretty much all there is besides a word number and size M. So I do hope this fits me. There is this weird thing here in the back. I don't know if it's a sticker, but it's not really coming out. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna assume you are a part of the cardigan. Okay, so I'm going to take off the cardigan that I'm wearing right now so we can have a look and see how this fits. Here we are, guys. Hmm. I feel like if the sleeves were one inch bigger, I would benefit from that. But it's not a big problem, actually. I can cover my watch if I want to, which is the essential part. But it's just sitting above the watch, which is just nice enough to be nice. You know what I mean? If it was like this, I probably would feel like the sleeves are too short. But this, this is okay. Hmm. So in terms of fit, we actually got the measurements right, almost too short. And uh, let's have a look at the length. Yep, 
Yo, I was testing my limits when I bought this cardigan. This cardigan is almost too short for me. I know a lot of you will be like, yo, that is perfect for you. That is your size. But I like my cardigans to hang a little bit loose in case I decide to wear bigger layers underneath. This is more like an outer layer piece or a middle layer piece because I sometimes wear a shirling coat over the cardigan. But 99% of the time, I will wear this as the outer piece and whatever I want underneath. So I like them to be a little bit looser. This is me testing my limits. However, I think it's a good thing that I do that from time to time because it reminds me that I'm alive and my game is not perfect. It's perfect in itself as I do this thing called life. So yes, here is cardigan number nine. I think it's a beautiful addition to my collection. And uh, it's a little bit on the lighter side, you know? Normally, beautiful things are just that beautiful. They're not very practical. This is not a cardigan that would keep me warm per se. I would say this is more of a spring, autumn type cardigan. Again, beautiful things. They make them beautiful, not practical. This cardigan here is less beautiful when it comes to the detail, right? The detail of the, the design, but is much more comfortable man this is warm this is practical this is beautiful not as beautiful actually no beautiful is not the right word intricate is the right word it's not as intricate when it comes to design as the cardigan that i have on right now but it is definitely more practical it is still beautiful actually very very beautiful so I think intricacy sometimes gets in the way of practicality and uh, I'm going to try and remember this lesson for future purchases that I decide to make. My things might still be beautiful, but I want practicality to always be a part of the reason why I decided to buy this or that. <laughs> that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned something new and uh, that you enjoyed being here with me for a little bit. I'm going to love you and leave you to have a rest of an amazing day. This is your boy, Logan. Out. Peace.